So today we're talking about the Atlas rhinoceros beetle. This one you can see here is the male because he's got the large horns that make him look like a rhino. So beetles have no mouths, so you can even just touch them here. You can't do anything to hurt you because they only live a couple months. So their entire purpose is to breed. So they actually have wings underneath their elytra here that they will use to fly and find a mate. So what they do manage to eat is fruit juice, sap, and nectar because they have a little sponge-like appendage here that allows them to absorb that. So the males are actually very aggressive. They will fight for territory and mates using their horns. And if we can see the neck gap here, there's no exoskeleton there, which makes him vulnerable. So the males, when fighting, will shove their horns in there and try to pull each other's heads off. So if you were to stick your finger in there, it would hurt because he will close it and pinch you. Otherwise, he cannot hurt you. They're actually pretty gentle towards us. They do their best to look as big and scary as possible because they know they can't really hurt you. So if you touch him a lot, he starts waving. So the females are smaller, they have no horns, and they're actually a brown, shiny kind of fuzzy material. They actually look so different that initially scientists thought they were different species. They didn't realize it was a male and female. Beetles don't actually change size. Once they turn from a grub into a beetle, they're full grown at that size. So they're never gonna change sizes. This is the size of the female compared to the male. She is a lot smaller and will always be smaller. So the larva stage of this species, the grubs, live up to two years, whereas the beetles will only live, like I said, for a few months. So the grub stage is the growing stage. The larval stage of these beetles has to become larger than the beetle because the entire larva will basically build a cocoon in the dirt and then it, it kind of decomposes itself into a soup that reforms and forms the beetle. So it has to be large enough to form this beetle. The grubs themselves are actually very aggressive. If there is not enough resources and you put two together, they will fight to the death because one needs to survive. And they are known for biting people if you do pick them up, whereas the beetles themselves can't. That's all for the rhino beetle. Tune in next time for more of our buggy surprises.